a simple yet absolute proof of the Twin Primes conjecture. My motto? Plain honesty, simple truth, easy understanding. The joy of finding things out for yourself. Since this proof is obvious once its simple nature has been revealed, the steps that follow might seem childish to the elitist mind, but therein lies the beauty of the proof. If we take the number line for odd numbers only from 3 to infinity, and split it into blocks of 3, and place one upon the other in descending numerical order, we will obtain the table shown on slides 2 and 3, columns 1, 2 and 3. Column 4 is just a copy of column 1 raised up one step to maintain continuity of number from column 4 to 1 when descending, that is increasing through the numbers. So column 4 is equal to column 1 plus 6. It is blatantly obvious that all the numbers in column 1 and therefore 4 are the infinite number of odd composites of the prime number 3. Columns 2 and 3 contain the balance of the odd integers that are not composites of 3 and are consecutive odd numbers with a constant difference between any pair of adjacent numbers of 2 but increase down the columns with a constant difference of 6. Columns 2 and 3 constitute a mod 6 sieve of Eratosthenes which excludes all numbers which are composites of 2 or 3. It is self-evident that columns 1, 2, 3 each contain one-third of all the odd numbers and that one-third plus one-third plus one-third equals one and not naught point nine 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 ad infinitum which is only an approxima approximation and not an equality. Corollary since all the odd integer couples in columns 1 and 2 are bounded by composites of 3, it is impossible for a prime triplet to exist except for the first three primes, 3, 5 and 7. This is exemplified by the first two pairs of adjacent twin primes, 11 and 13 and 17 and 19 and 101, 103 and 107, 109. Since all the odd integers in columns 1, 2 and 3 increase by the same amounts of 2 across the rows and 6 down the columns, then they must all reside on the same smallest possible sieve. So the size and variability of the gaps between the primes is of no consequence in deciding whether a pair of twin primes can exist or not, which is the contention for the conjecture. We know that the primes are infinite despite being an exponentially decreasing quantity compared to the composites and that there are far far less twin primes than primes. Yet twin primes are an integral part of the integers and can arise when the preceding primes cannot be factors of either of them. There are 2,493 twin prime pairs less than the twin prime pair 22,277 and 22,279. According to Wikipedia, the largest twin prime pair known to date is astronomically massive. The size and quantity we know of to date shows that twin primes are an inescapable necessity in the formation of composites, just as much as are the single primes alone. What follows on the next slide mirrors Euclid's proof for the infinitude of the primes. Taking any integer from the 6n minus 1 column and its partner plus 2 from the 6n plus 1 column, the options are 1. Composite and composite, highly likely. 2. Prime and composite. 3. Composite and prime. Both are far less likely but always possible. 4. Prime and prime. Highly improbable but never impossible. 
mod 4 modularity of the primes. All the odd numbers after division by 4 leave a residue of 1 or 3, which we express by the formula 4m plus 1 or 4m plus 3. We can also use the expressions 4m minus 1 or 4m plus 1. For the four expressions and letting n equals m we obtain the following table. One, cells blocked out green are composites of three. Two, cells blocked out yellow contain the number two plus three n, and the row structure is inconsistent with the mod six sieve of Eratosthenes. Three, grey cells are superfluous to the numerical structure of the mod six sieve. Four, twin primes are highlighted as shown by the example for 5 and 7. 5. We see that number pairs in the mod 6 sieve alternate between 4m plus 1 and 4m plus 3 and 4m minus 1 and 4m plus 1 modularity continuously ad infinitum. 6. The predictable interaction between the modularities mod 4 and mod 6 is to synchronise the 4n plus 1 and 4n plus 3 primes, hence the twin primes. Summary. From all the foregoing mathematical facts, it can only be concluded that, in the words of Leonard Euler, what is true for the small numbers must also be true for the large. Therefore, twin primes exist all the way to infinity, irrespective of their size. QED.